Hey, this is Steve uh, with Speed Binders, and I'm with Ken Walker, Kaplan Trucking. And how you doing today, Ken? Good. 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 Uh, we're just going to give you a little demonstration on the Speed Binders, uh, how I tie them down because I haul some really big coils. Um, and next to the Conestoga, I think the Speed Binders are the single greatest invention, uh, innovation in steel hauling since the 1950s. I mean, the Conestoga makes it so much faster. But the security and the safety of the speed binders is second to none. Awesome. Yeah, the Conestoga, you don't have to uh, tarp anything. It just makes it real quick, doesn't it? Makes an old man feel good. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we have here? We, is this... Uh... So I have a 61,000-pound uh, single coil on. I have uh, nine points of contact. Um, so I've got nine chains on it. Um, so I butterfly... My speed binders in the center, so I got I have four pieces immediately in the center, and then I have one on each end um, for my give and go, so that it's not tugging. And then I put three drapes across the top. Um, the drape chains to me are important; uh, keeps everything real solid right now. Uh, but the really nice thing about it is in unload time, uh, you know two minutes and you have all nine chains completely undone it's uh, it's amazing okay cool now if this was a 72 inch what would you do different um, a 72 thousand pound coil i actually use the exact same configuration um if i'm under 60 i generally only have five chains to the eye okay. um, and one across the top but anytime i hit that 60 number or higher because um, we do haul up to 74,000 pound coils out of the mill in Cleveland, Ohio, um, in South Bend, Indiana. Um, so, when anytime that there's chains of that or uh, coils of that magnitude, I have a minimum of six to the eye. And depending on the actual size of the coil, sometimes I actually go up to seven to the eye. And when I go to seven to the eye, I actually move these two chains over, and I actually have a fifth chain right here directly in the middle. And I cross it to my right, so I have my crisscross or my butterfly pattern here. I will have another binder here, leaning over this way, so that the reactionary bars are sitting on top of each other. Okay. Now you mentioned reactionary bars. Is that why these handles are? Explain to me what you're doing here, if you don't mind. <coughs> so the reactionary bar gets to have negative pressure on it. So by it having negative pressure like this, it makes it impossible to move. Uh, these are really slack adjusters, just like what we use on our brakes, our brake chain, you know, on our brake chambers as we're, as we're running on our trucks on a daily basis. So, you know, that reactionary bar has to have negative pressure on it. So when we tighten it down, we actually put the reactionary bar right on top of the other um, speed up binder and tighten it up. Cool. All right. Well, that was a, a short explanation of what we have here. And what we're actually going to do is uh, untie this and retie it uh, yep. so you guys can see how Ken does a coil with the uh, Speedbinder product. So stay tuned. <laughs>